Hi everyone, Mrs. A here. Today we're looking at dividing rational expressions. Rational expressions are like fractions. So what I have here is really a fraction divided by another fraction. And if you think about how we divide fractions, we keep the first fraction as it is, and then we multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So we really need to take this rational expression and multiply by the reciprocal of this. So we're gonna put the denominator in the numerator and the numerator in the denominator. And that's how we're going to simplify. And then the rest is like multiplying rational expressions. You can look at our other video for that if you need another refresher. Um, before I go ahead and do that, um, that step, I always like to start by factoring first because I know I'm going to have to factor all of the numerators and denominators in order to get the restrictions for the variable and in order to simplify and divide out any common factors. So I'm gonna go ahead and factor. This por portion right here, the two X plus 10, there's a common factor of two. So I'm gonna do that. And this denominator here, that's a quadratic expression and it's a simple trinomial. I'm going to factor it with a product sum, so it's a product of positive 4, sum of negative 4. I'm going to use that to factor. This x squared minus 25, that's a difference of squares, so the 25 is 5 squared. And then this one, I don't factor that at all. There's nothing to do there. So I'm going to rewrite this whole thing with all of the expressions factored. Let's do that. So the first numerator here, factoring out that 2, and I get x plus 5 in the brackets. In the denominator, I had a product of 4 and a sum of negative 4. So my numbers there are negative 2 and negative 2. Okay, divided by. And then here, the x squared minus 25 is a difference of squares. So we'll have x minus 5, x plus 5. And x minus 2 in the denominator there. Okay, everything is factored. Let's stop here and do our restrictions right away before we forget, um, before we move on. Now, denominators, they can't be equal to zero. So the restrictions come from the values of x that make each factor in the denominator equal to zero. Here we have positive two, positive two again, and positive two again. Oh, okay, that's great. So x can't be positive two, but because we're doing division here, I know that in my next step, I'm gonna change this to a multiplying and I'm gonna take the reciprocal here, which means this is gonna become a new denominator. So I actually need to use this for a restriction as well uh, when we're dividing rational expressions. So be careful, remember that, because we flip it, we need to take the restrictions from this part too. So we can't have this equal zero either, otherwise we can't take the reciprocal. So here, x can't be five, or negative 5. And those are all the restrictions for our um, variable here. Okay, let's keep going now and let's go ahead and change this to the multiplying. And when I do this now, so I'm going to multiply and I'm going to invert this. So this x minus 2 is going to be multiplied here and I'm just going to go right ahead and do that because we've done this in class. You know what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to divide by I've got this denominator, x minus 2, x minus 2, and then here, this is now the new denominator, x minus 5, x plus 5. Okay, there it is. Now, we need to simplify, so let's take a look and see if we have any common factors in the numerator and the denominator, and we do. I have an x plus 5 and an x plus 5. And so those divide out, they make one, and so they go away. And then again, x minus two and x minus two, we can divide those. Again, we get a one there. And the only thing that's left in the numerator is that two. And in the denominator, we have this factor and this factor. So let's rewrite our final expression. Two in the numerator and in the denominator, x minus two and x minus five like this. Don't forget the restrictions here. X cannot be equal to 2 and positive and negative 5. That's our final answer. We make sure we have the restrictions. 
Um, for this denominator, you could expand if you want to, but there's no need to expand. We can leave it just like this. Thanks for watching. This is A Loves Math.